My name's Brian Rayburn with Fire Trucks Unlimited, and I'm here to talk about this Rebel ATX brush truck. As you can see, it's on a Ram 5500 chassis with Cummins turbo, turbo diesel motor. It's got aluminum rims and a crew cab four door. Also has running boards. Moving on back to the body, you got your Kuzmal Shoreline Inlet Auto Eject. It's also attached to a Kuzmal battery charger. As you can see, it's an all aluminum, heavy duty body. This body is very strong with six inch outside rails and four inch cross members. Taking a look, we have all locking compartments all around. So when you're out on uh, strike teams, you can lock everything up. So we've got under, underside compartment, D-ring hole handles, so easy to open and close with the left hands. You got floor compartment. Two adjustable shelves, spring water door open holder, easy to close. Got a barn style door here, larger compartment, two more adjustable shelves, and of course dry decking on, on the flooring and all the shelves. Up top, We've got a nice basket where you can store hose, long handle tools, any other packs that you might have. We've also left it smooth so you can put your department uh, lettering up there. Moving on back, we've got a drawer. Nice slide out. Put your appliances in there, small tools. Storage for a uh, drip torch. You've got your LED FETS uh, work light, scene light as well as one of two electric rewind hose reels. And we've got the lightweight uh, forestry hose on it. And a nozzle. Coming around back, you've got your uh, bracket for your hydrant wrench and your spanner wrenches. Coming through, we've got a 450 gallon poly tank and a Hale diesel HPX 200 pump. This is a Kubota diesel, 23 horsepower. Our uh, aluminum manifold, or I'm sorry, stainless steel manifold. You got your booster reel discharges, your intake, your uh, recirc. You got a single discharge here, as well as a discharge up front. It also has a foam system, Scotty foam system. The control panel, your level gauges. It's got an electric primer. Controls for your lighting, rear scene lighting, and then down here, storage for hard suction. Also, we've got a little fold down step here so you can get up onto the deck. The truck has all LED lighting all around for emergency, but every light head on the truck actually has a du dual purpose where not only is it an emergency color, either red or amber, but it also can convert to white. And I'll show you that once we get in the cab. Another drawer, another hose reel, basket, and then we have another horizontally hinged cabinet, which you can store long handled tools, anything long, still have two shelves in there. And all the compartments have LED strip light. So you're gonna be able to see inside these compartments at night. You can also use this as a bench. If you need to do work on your equipment. This is strong enough to hold that. Strong shot. I'm going to show you some features of this cab. So uh, we have built in uh, the backup camera right into the OEM backup camera screen setup. So it's not an extra screen inside your cab cluttering things up. You've got your siren controller, your a couple extra switches as well as cup holders, voltmeter. You've got a USB charging station, four more 12 volt ports, a nice uh, storage pocket here. Um, this truck also has Bluetooth so you'll be able to hook up cell phones or, or whatever into the, the OEM radio phone system. Um, going through the siren controller of course you got your, your one two three settings but as I mentioned the lighting it's emergency light but you also can have driving lights so the entire light bar will turn in all white lights if you're if you're out in a dark area or if you want your left side lights to be all white, 
This button overrides the emergency lights and turns it all white. Same thing with the right side and the rear. And then this is for your traffic director, which is built into the light bar, so to the right. Okay. And that's the inside of the cab. Coming back here, I just want to show you something in the back real quick. We did something kind of unique. We created an easy access for your fuses and relays. So without the use of any tools, you can access fuses, relays, for quick field changes if you, if you ever need to do something like that. And then you just button it back up, no tools needed. Pretty simple. All right. I'm gonna come around out to the side back up. Oh. And coming around to the front, we've got our heavy duty front bumper, as well as a worn winch, electric winch, the controls in the cab, and then our front discharge, siren speaker. If you have any questions about this truck, please visit on our website, send us a message, or give us a call.